Number four, Wednesday kids. Join me as we learn how to count, solve, and enjoy math. This is Teacher Julie, and welcome to our class. Do you still remember the basic operations in mathematics? Good job! We have addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. We use these operations in our daily lives as well as solving complicated mathematical sentences. For today's discussion, we will talk about solving word problems involving subtraction. As we learn how to solve word problems, we will answer these two questions. First, what are the keywords to remember in subtraction? Second, what are the steps in solving word problems? Are you ready, kids? Come on, and let us begin our number four journey. Subtraction is one of the basic operations in math. We use subtraction to know how many are left or how many more or less. Do you know the sign we use for subtraction? Good job! We use a minus sign when we subtract numbers. Now, repeat after me as I read each word that implies or describes subtraction. Take away, decrease, remain, difference, minus, how many more, fewer, left. These keywords will help you to choose subtraction in solving word problems. Now, can you help me find the keywords that imply subtraction in this set of word problems? Let's start! Rohi has 1,094 toy building blocks. Josh has only 816 toy building blocks. How many more building blocks does Rohi have? What is the subtraction keyword in this word problem? Very good. It's how many more. Let's have another one. Julie and Cindy joined Domino Challenge. They made a set using 6,245 domino tiles. But they accidentally knocked down 2,956 tiles before the judges saw their final work. How many dominoes were left standing? What keyword that implies subtraction is used in this word problem? Good job! It's left. Now, let's try this problem. Mrs. Aguilar wants to buy a salad set worth 5,499 pesos. If she only has 3,655 pesos, how much more does she need to buy the set? What keyword that implies subtraction is used in this word problem? Splendid! It's how much more. Now that we know the subtraction keywords to look for in a word problem, let's start solving. Let's recall the steps in solving word problems. Step 1. Identify the given. Step 2. Identify what is x. Step 3. Formulate the equation. Step 4. Solve the equation. And step 5, write the final answer. Ready to try it? Let's go back to our word problems earlier and apply these steps. Let's read the word problem together. Roki has 1,094 toy building blocks. Josh has only 816 toy building blocks. How many more building blocks does Roki have? For step 1, let's identify the given. Roki has 1,094 toy building blocks. Josh has 816 toy building blocks. Now that we have identified the given, let's proceed to the next step. For step 2, identify what is asked. We are asked to find how many more building blocks Roki have than Josh. Can you spot the keyword used in this question? Awesome! The keyword used is how many more. Remember that how many more is a keyword for subtraction. That means we will use subtraction in solving this word problem. To solve this word problem, we must subtract the number of Josh's toy building blocks from rookies. 
For step number 3, formulate the equation. 1094 minus 816 is equal to n, where n represents the number of building blocks Roki have more than Josh. For step number 4, solve the equation. Let's subtract 816 from 1094. In subtracting numbers, we start with the digits in the least place value. 4 minus 6 is equal to... Can we subtract 6 from 4? No, we can't. Since we cannot subtract 6 from 4, we are going to borrow from the digit on the left of 4, which is 9. 9 now becomes 8. And 4 becomes 14. 14 minus 6 is equal to 8. 8 minus 1 is equal to 7. 0 minus 8 is equal to... Since we cannot subtract 8 from 0, we will borrow from 1. Now 1 becomes 0. And 0 becomes 10. 10 minus 8 is equal to 2. 1094 minus 816 is equal to 278. Lastly, for step 5, write the final answer. Therefore, Rogi has 278 building blocks more than Josh. Good job, kids! Now, let's try solving this word problem. Let's read the word problem together. Julie and Cindy joined Domino Challenge. They made a set using 6,245 domino tiles, but they accidentally knocked down 2,956 tiles before the judges saw their final work. How many dominoes were left standing? For step 1, let's identify the given. Julie and Cindy made a set using 6,245 domino tiles. 2,956 tiles were accidentally knocked down. For step 2, identify what is asked. We are asked to find the number of dominoes left standing. Can you spot the keyword used in this question? Great! The keyword used is left. Left is a keyword for subtraction, so we will use this operation to solve the word problem. To find the number of dominoes left standing, we must subtract the number of dominoes that were accidentally knocked down from the original number of dominoes Judy and Cindy used. For step 3, formulate the equation 6,245 minus 2,956 is equal to n, where n represents the number of dominoes left standing. For step number 4, solve the equation. Let's subtract 2,956 from 6,245. Again, we start with the digits in the 1's column. Can we subtract 6 from 5? No. So let's borrow from the digit on the left of 5, which is 4. 4 now becomes 3. And 5 becomes 15. 15 minus 6 is equal to 9. Since we cannot subtract 5 from 3, let's borrow from 2. 2 now becomes 1, and 3 becomes 13. 13 minus 5 is equal to 8. Good job, students! Since we cannot subtract 9 from 1, we are going to borrow from 6. 6 now becomes 5, and 1 becomes 11. 11 minus 9 is equal to 2. 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. So, 6,245 minus 2,956 is equal to 3,289. Lastly, for step 5, write the final answer. Therefore, the number of dominoes left standing is 3,289. You did great, kids! Now, let's go back to our two questions earlier. The keywords to remember in subtraction are 
take away, decrease, difference, remain, minus, how many more, fewer, and left. These are the steps in solving word problems. Step 1. Identify the given. Step 2. Identify what is asked. Step 3. Formulate the equation. Step 4. Solve the equation. And step 5. Write the final answer. Wow! Good job! I hope you have learned a lot about solving word problems today. If you did, click thumbs up and share this video to help young learners like you to count, solve, and enjoy math. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Again, this is Peter Julie, and see you on our next Number Full Wednesday.